Introducing the new Audi A4. Get a well-equipped Quattro sedan starting from 41200 Visit gtaaudidealers.com for details. We decided our seats should be wider. Our passengers should have more space. And our beds should be lie flat. Thank you. Now that's a good idea. The Jet Airways Premier Class with direct aisle access from all seats. Because it's the little touches that make the big difference. Jet Airways. There's an appeal happening within the South Asian community for donors, donors of bone marrow and for organs. Omni Television brings you a two-part series on bone marrow and organ donation. In part two, we bring you the story about two women, one who gave up something to save the life of the other. In today's story, part one, the focus is on bone marrow and the plea for a donor within the South Asian community. As research has shown, there is a 75% chance of finding a match from someone within the same ethnic community. Meet Dr. Guha. He's a neurosurgeon at Toronto Western Hospital, a very prominent practitioner, professor, researcher, and of course, family man. Dr. Guha has dedicated his life to saving the lives of others. But on July 29, 2008, the tables turned. Guha became the patient. I was uh, going to have some elective surgery for a swallowing disorder, just minor elective surgery. So I had my preoperative blood work done, and then I flew to New York because I had to teach a course that we've organized on brain tumors. Mm -hmm. And when I got to New York, my Blackberry rang mm -hmm. and said, you know, there's something awfully wrong with your blood work. Dr. Kuha was diagnosed with leukemia. He's in desperate need of a bone marrow transplant, and if he doesn't get one soon, he will die. Here's how the transplant works. What my first treatment, which is going on right now, is the chemotherapy to kill the cancer cells mm -hmm. in my bone marrow. Now, eventually the bone marrow will grow back, and if it grows back, in my particular case, then what happens is there's a high risk that when it comes back, the cancer cells will also come back. So what you want to do is, is kill the cancer cells with the chemotherapy, which is called remission mm -hmm. and uh, consolidation, and, and then replace it with bone marrow from a healthy donor, and that will repopulate the bone marrow. But the bone marrow cannot come from just anyone. There needs to be an exact match, and ethnicity plays a very big part. But there are very few South Asians on the donor list. In fact, the percentage of South Asian donors is barely at 1%, but the need is very high. Meet Shamir Ismail. He's a cancer survivor, thanks to his sister. She was his donor. You know, when the doctor told me, you're in your initial state of shock, and, you know, why me, why me? But after a while, after a few days, you forget that and you just concentrate on trying to fight it Well, you have to do to fight it. Shamir and Dr. Guhar are just two examples of the hundreds of South Asians in need of a bone marrow transplant in Canada. And with there being such a high need for ethnic donors, the Canadian Red Cross is reaching out to communities to educate them and encourage them to put themselves on the donor list. They have what's called the One Match program. The need now is in diversity. So One Match uh, has been around now for a year. Uh, we realize that we need to shift a lot of our attention on the diverse population of Canada because this is really where the need is. To become a donor is very simple. All it takes is a donor kit, a mouth swab, and then sending your kit back to the Canadian Blood Services. Look at the greater good here. You need to provide stem cells for your community. You need to do something for your community because they're so poorly represented on the registry right now. And we need more people to realize that and therefore to bring those numbers up. When he was told that he has uh, leukemia, I was with him. And I never thought of it as his disease. I thought of it as our disease, our struggle.